Hola amiguitos nuevamente. Ahorita estamos en el puerto marítimo de, de Hobart. Hobart. Este es el centro de Hobart. Hobart, como recuerdan, les había dicho que es la capital de, de Tasmania. Bueno, Australia está dividido en seis estados. Y bueno, uno de los estados eh, de Australia es Tasmania. Y el estado de Tasmania en lo que estamos ahorita visitando, la capital es Hobart. Ahorita estamos en Hobart. Entonces vamos a dar un paseo de una horita en este crucero, le dicen que se llama eh, Historic Hobart Cruise. Crucero histórico de Hobart. Así le dicen. Entonces vamos a visitar un barco. ¿ya? Vamos a. Ahorita va a despegar. Entonces, vamos a ver. Hello, Miguel. We're gonna let's go through the boat. Okay. Let's do a tour of the boat. We're just going to go into the captain's area. What? What's over there? What's this one? What's that boat? Is that an old, old style boat? It's like the Endeavour. Lots of people on board to try and clean it at the moment. So this is Hobart. Hola, Betenita, ¿cómo estás? 
Yeah. Happy, happy. Happy. Well, it's a nice time on the main deck in the forward locker. Top deck above the windows, we have inflatable life rafts on board. Triple arrives, they will self-inflate, can be inflated by crew. Actually, Tim Hotel, once it's entered this concrete, that is the reinforced concrete. First reinforced concrete here in Australia. All hours around the corner here, but Tim and I, the knowledge we lost our markets for our fruits, and they fall into these views. We have the Henry Jones, IXL building, stage from 1820 to 1948, just to employ about a thousand people, making lovely canned fruits and jams, etc. under the banner. Mike XL, they sell the products they produce. Henry Jones was 97 during the four years of Wednesday, and we varied over the Hobart and take on supplies for the troops. And then Camouflage trained on the banner. On the day, the largest car in the southern hemisphere, 64 miles long, and the second largest American hero, one time most of the entire navies of Europe, we held its boundaries. We have the cruise ship film on Hobart Day, cruise ship top range in Hobart. Cargo ship, Viva. Look, it's working a tiny bit. Australian Let's see that Mount Wellington isn't very good today. <laughs> we'll do that hopefully tomorrow in a solar battle to be able to see downhill. The big fridge that we went over last night. Do that again, Ethan. That's 
Anthony, you want to go in? It's a bit windy out here. Oh, it's pretty much warmer now. Now we have the Royal Hobart Regatta Ground Hold Regatta here to commemorate the discovery of Tasmania by the Dutch in 1642. Abel Jansoon Tasman. Tasman coming down the west coast of Tasmania. Ships called for heaps going to Kilsey and got caught a bit of a blow. Tried to shelter in Storm Bay, was blown back out to sea. Finally landed on the 3rd of December 1642 at Marion Bay on the east coast of Tasmania where he claimed the island of the Dutch. Named it Van Diemen's Land after the governor of the table at the time, Anthony Van Diemen went on to discover New Zealand. The Dutch, thankfully, they had neither been poisoning. In those days, the food chains were lined with lead. New government had redesigned by William Kay, was finally completed in 1857 at a cost of £68,000. Nine shilling. Whoa, and the castle. Russia on the top of the table. Castle, do you see it? Wait, How do you get closer? Oh, do you see the castle over there? So cool. Arrow about to pass through the Tasman Bridge, the Tasman Bridge spans twice the distance of water as the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Can it be drained the river away? You can find there was more of the bridge up the water. Brittany. What's up there? Yeah, that's a funny bridge, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 